Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, it's Mike here once again and I'm coming today to give you part two of my first, oh my battery's gonna die, I cannot believe it. <sighs> Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel, it is Mike, no I've already done this. So let's try that again. Camera has been charged for half an hour, I'm not gonna lie, I stole half an hour and sat down with a Christmas book and just read and it was lovely because I had a little bit of a headache. I think I went a bit mental filming those last videos. And um, it was just nice to regroup in the quiet for half an hour. I was reading Nigel Slater's Christmas Chronicles. And so far, fantastic. I am in love. But let's get on with part two of this My First Christmas Tag. So we've done six questions. I'll link that wherever it goes, up and down. And let's start with question seven. So this says, Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? It's a tricky one because obviously I love elements of both. And I think that, again, having worked in retail for so long, that Christmas Eve is normally a working day and it's normally filled with rushing about afterwards and then finally sitting down really late and just being knackered. Um, but last Christmas Eve, I thoroughly enjoyed myself. I will link the vlog this video um, above and below. Um, it was quite a lovely day. We had guests in the morning. Jay's brother and sister-in-law came round uh, with little baby. And um, we had uh, Clementine drizzle cake and coffee. And then I went in the, I did some cooking, and then I went in the afternoon with my mum to visit some family, and we had a little drink, and actually I got quite, um, I got quite drunk, accidentally. <laughs> um, it passed, thankfully, but it just hit me. Um, and in the evening I went to my parents' house and had, like, nibbles and some drinks, and I just really enjoyed it. It was very relaxing. It was just a lovely way to spend Christmas Eve, and actually I want more of that in my life, please. Um, and I love the anticipation of Christmas Eve, which is why I'm inclined to say Christmas Eve is my favourite. Um, however, there is the Feast of Christmas Day to think about, and I love seeing people's reactions to presents and things, and I, I love seeing um, what the kids had for Christmas. Um, and on Christmas Day we do a quiz uh, at my parents' house, there's a Christmas quiz, it's a bit of a tradition in the evening, and that's always cool as well. So I, I think I, I, right now at this point in time, Christmas Day is my favourite because of what I have experienced in the past, but what I would really like is for Christmas Eve to become my favourite moving forward because I want more Christmas Eves like the one I experienced last year. Um, it was lovely. I really liked it. Question eight, favourite ornament. Now that is so much harder to answer because every year Jay and I tend to get a new ornament for the tree. Well, not every year, I tell a lie. That's kind of just dried up a little bit because our tree was full of gorgeous ornaments that we've been buying over the course of our years together. And uh, Mum always turns up as well with some sort of ornament every Christmas for us this year. It was a hedgehog, um, and he's lovely. He's from John Lewis. He's on the tree. Um, so my uh, my tree is filled with ornaments that mean a lot and that I love. Um, and... There's a Macy's star, which my friend Deborah brought back from New York for me, uh, which I love and always has pride of place. There's even one that Jay made out of little baubles that looks like a Mickey Mouse. I love that one too. Um, the, the, the latest edition, if you follow me on social media, you will have seen it. It is an aubergine, a glittery aubergine emoji from Paper Chase, and that is flipping awesome and had to be bought. Um, there are too many. I do love this little fireplace I've got going on down here with uh, me and Jay's names on it. Uh, it's I, I, too, too hard to decide. There are so many. I'm considering doing a Christmas tree tour all of its own. You might be uh, getting lots of Christmassy videos from me. Let's hope. Um, so the next question, question nine. Favourite and least favourite Christmas movie? I'm going to put this down. I have my favourite here. First of all, 
I will link above and below a video that I made last year during Christmas, but because of my shitty internet and busy schedule, I didn't upload it until January. Um, but it is my top five Christmas movies, and they haven't changed this year at this point, so I will link it so you can watch it and see what my favourites are. There's some honourable mentions as well, and in that video, I didn't commit to a favourite film, but I am confident enough right now to commit to Christmas with the Cranks. This is Tim Allen and Jamie Lee Curtis, and actually it's based in the book Skipping Christmas by John Grisham, and it's just fun, and it's one of my favourites. I just adore how barking it is that it's, t it's taken so seriously, Christmas is taken so seriously in on this street, and there's just a lovely Christmas miracle at the end. It's just such a lovely film. It's one of my, it is my favourite at this point, my favourite Christmas film. Oof, that was hard, but but felt good. Um, least favourite Christmas film? I don't know, I'm looking over to my shelves. Um, if there are any that I own that I that I don't love, I can see them all from here. There's a lot that I do love. Least favourite Christmas film? I don't know. Oh, I do know. Yes, I do completely know. It's a film called Black Christmas, which is a horror movie, which is like some sort of weird, creepy Christmas creature that's killing people at Christmas. I do not like it. It is not my favourite. I remember we sat down with my friends and we watched it more many years ago and no, scarred. So no, Christmas films should be joyful, not horror. Decided. There we go. Um, so the next question, question 10. Online shopping or in store? And I feel like, do you know what, guys? I think that th there's room for both in life. I mean, I work in a shop and I am committed to buying from shops to support those retailers, whether they be chains or independent. Uh, I love going to the Christmas huts and buying things from them if I can. You know, using Etsy or using the using the huts they have in Christmas or ordering off their websites. I and I also like going to like high street stores in my town and in and in my and where I work on the retail park because I think it's really important to shop from actual shops because you know what guys, otherwise shops are going to close if we don't support them. That's in that's that's independent retailers and normal retailers. It has got to that point now where if we don't go and shop in our high street, there's not going to be a high street. So that's important. Having said that, it's really, really useful to order some things online as well for ease, especially if you work a lot and you get home in the evening and you've got a bit of time to spare for some Christmas shopping you can do online. I think it's fantastic. You know, there's also deals to be had for people who, like me, who are on a budget. Uh, and uh, The Black Friday sale, which has become massive in this country now, uh, it's, I think it's, it's really useful. Really, really useful. So I am genuinely a bit of both. I'm not going to decide between those two. Cannot choose. I think there's room in the world for all of it. It's the same as the way I feel about Kindle or Realbook. There's room for both. Now, question 11. We're reaching the end. This is a zippy one. Um, favourite Christmas song and least favourite Christmas song. Oh well, I spoke too soon. Um, going on instinct, without thinking too much about it, my favourite Christmas song is Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, which I... I love in all its incarnations. There isn't really a version I don't like. Obviously, there is the Judy Garland version, which is sort of the pinnacle in my mind. But there is a Frank Sinatra version as well, which is stunning. Like, so, so stunning. Um, I love Christmas music. I have such a soft spot for Christmas music. I have a massive playlist on Spotify. Um, I'll, I'll link it if I can. I think it's public. It's, it's lovely anyway. Um, well, I think it's lovely. Um, but I also just adore Kate Rusby's Christmas stuff. I just love Kate Rusby in general, but her Christmas stuff just really makes me feel warm. I love that. And I love that it's not, like, commercially everywhere. You don't go into shops and hear, hear it all the time. Um, so it feels like you've got a little private Christmas moment between you and Kate, and I love that. Um, least favourite Christmas song is probably... Oh, I don't enjoy that one that, um, I don't know what it is, like, I don't love that one. Oh, and I also don't like the, um, Mary's boy child, Jesus Christ, 
was born on Christmas Day. I don't like that one either. <laughs> no other words to that one at least. Um, so I don't love those two. And this will kill me to admit, Lloyd, this is for you, but Sears Candy Cane Lane is really quite irritating. And I love Sia, but it is irritating. It, he hates it, and I play it all the time in work just to annoy him. <laughs> but um, yeah, it is frustrating, I understand. So we'll go, that's our little selection for you, fair play. Um, and question 12, favorite Christmas flavor? Uh, ha how on earth am I supposed to answer that? Flavor of what? what flavor drink flavor food flavor flavor of candle i know it's not flavor but i do sometimes say flavor they mean scent but mm, okay so favorite flavor oh i don't know okay i might have to break this down guys let's talk about favorite flavor in a sweet thing you can't go too far wrong with a chocolate orange you know, you can't. Chocolate, hot chocolate with orange syrup is divine. Um, I just read in um, in that book. What was I just reading? Oh my lord! See what's wrong with me? My mind it doesn't work. And I just read this Christmas book that um, a cardamom in some hot chocolate is meant to be lovely. And I was like, oh, intrigued. I haven't tried that before. I'd like to. But then mint chocolate is like my favorite thing. Favorite, favorite thing in smell, actually, as well as in taste. Um, I love a mint hot chocolate, or I do. It all stems from mint chocolate chip ice cream um, as a child. So, yeah, that's one of my favorite flavors. Um, but then you've got things like cranberry sauce and turkey and stuff in that all just work together fantastically, and that's beautiful. I mean, my, the sprouts with pancetta and chestnuts and marsala cannot big them up enough and I also cannot big up enough gingerbread stuffing that's a favorite flavor um oh gosh a clementine cake orange seems to kind of go through a lot of my cooking and favorite flavorings maybe orange is one of my favorite flavors I feel like I can't commit guys there's too many nice ones way too many I mean maple syrup on parsnips is one of my favorite things oh my lord and chocolate you can't go Christmas without chocolate I'm not committing. I think that, uh, no, too hard. I like too many flavors of Christmas to commit to one. Decision made. And that be the end of that. I made it through. It had to be two videos, apologies. Camera died halfway through, apologies. Um, but yay, um, thank you very much for watching guys. If you feel the need to do this tag, then I suggest you do, because it will make you feel very, very Christmassy. And for nosy people like me, who want to know, want to know. So I think that you should go and do it. I'll put the questions below, and I will link Sam's original video below as well, uh, because it was a treat. And actually, it's a really fun way to think about and remind yourself of those Christmas things that make you feel festive. So please go out there and crack on with your Christmas, what was it called? Tag. This, crack on with this Christmas tag. Thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you in another festive video soon. Bye!